G'day, bladey kids, the vaping fucking bogan, back once again. How the fuck are you? Hope you're all doing good as bloody gold. I'm doing pretty sweet. I got myself the Modfather RDA. So we've all heard of the Modfather RTAs. This is their RDA. It's got big fuck off Civ type airflow. Takes the Goon Kennedy drip tips. So I've got one of my little custom drip tips in there from Australian custom drip tips. Doesn't uh, come with the kit, obviously. Uh, but it does come with a few different fucking options. Comes with the stainless steel cap, comes with the Delrin cap, and also comes with a glass cap. How about that, fuckers? Really nice for flavor, and you can see your coils. But enough fucking chit-chatting. Let's take it for a fucking burn. It's a 30 millimeter RDA, so I've got some big fuck-off coils in here from uh, Cloud Revolution. Uh, they're coming in. We've got the series deck in this, like the series deck you can get for the RTA. This comes with that floating center post, which doubles your build uh, that you'd normally put in a traditional RDA. So it came in a little higher than I expected, 0.56 ohms. So a little bit too high for an unregulated mechanical series mod that I would uh, normally chuck this on. But I've chucked it on the RX300. It's got a maximum voltage output of 9.9 .9 volts on the uh, the quad battery RX300. I'm pushing it to the max 9.9 .9 volts, 175 watts. Let's take it for a fucking rip, eh? She's a fucking cloudy, cunts. Oodles and oodles of fucking vapor. Very, very good on the flavor too. But before we get into the rest of that, let's talk about some advocacy. As you know, the uh, the governments and the uh, authorities around the world are trying to take and restrict our vapor products. In the US with the FDA, please have a look at the links below. Support your advocacy groups over there if you haven't already done so. For me, myself, in South Australia, I've got my own battle with the state government. Three politicians are heading up some bullshit regulations that will ruin the online and brick and mortar industry. Please have a read of the information in the description. Send these three fuckwits up, uh, an email. Don't use your fucking bogan language. Be nice and polite. You don't need to tell them where you're from. Just draw their attention to the Royal College of Physician Reports. I've put all in the description. Fucking cheers. Appreciate it. Let's have a fucking beer. Now, I've had these plenty of fucking times before. They're one of my favorite IPAs. This is the Torpedo Extra IPA from Sierra Nevada. So I know what she's going to taste like and it tastes pretty fucking good. So there we go, dickheads. We've got that reddish color you expect from a strong IPA. This cunt here is uh, very hoppy, very piney. I love it. Anyway, bottoms up, dickheads. Oh, fuck yeah. It's a nice warm day down here in SA. And I tell you what, it's going down a treat. If you like hops, if you like that real piney, that real herbally, that real citrusy fucking IPA, then you definitely got to get one of these in here because she is full of fucking fruits and hops. Lots of citrus, lots of those sort of herbally notes, that nice multi middle to it. Bloody ripper. Now, the juice on vaping, I don't know whether it's going to go very well. It's linola cream. It's one of my new sort of favorites in the last few months. It's like a banana, tropical fruits, and creamy kind of uh, vape. Not normally into a lot of creamy vapes, but this can't here. Tell you what, dickheads. Real nice. We'll see how she fucking goes, eh? Oh, she works just fine. Wasn't sure how the creams would go with the IPA, but that's actually not too bad. It's bringing out some more of the uh, sort of fruity notes in the creamy sort of ape, and bringing out some more of the sort of sweet and um, sort of piney notes in the fucking beer. Not bad, not the best pairing, but pretty good. Anyway, dickheads, what we're gonna do, jump down the up and bloody close, break it down, have a look at the build that I've got in there, show you all the bits and bobs, because you do get a few extras with this RDA, and then we'll jump back up top, give you the pros, cons, price, and all the other goodies. Let's have a fucking look-see. All fucking roadie kids. So here we go. This is the box you get from Modfather 30 millimeter RDA. Uh, I've only seen stainless steel finishes on the market. However, they say that there's black and possibly other colors to come. So hopefully we'll see more. That's all on the back there. Let's open her up. Now you got yourself the 30 millimeter RDA. You got yourself the glass top cap. Very fucking nice. You got yourself the Delrin top cap. Wonderful. 
Good old fucking blue screw. Good to see you tagged along, mate. Bag of spares, which includes some O-rings and some screws. And you've got this little doobahickey, which we'll come back to in a moment. All right. Well, let's have a look at this fucker. How you going? Fucking 30 millimeters in diameter. Absolutely massive, like all of the stuff from Mod Father Inc. On the bottom, you got yourself the engravings. You got yourself a serial number there, 208. And... Uh, the copper center pin, which I don't believe is an adjustable pin. No, non-adjustable copper 510 pin. If you unscrew that cunt, the center post will fall out. And that's about it, let's move on over. You've got this airflow. Have a look at this, it's like a cheese grater. These holes are 0.5 millimeters in diameter, each of them. So what that gives you is a lot of airflow because there's lots of them, but also a very smooth airflow and uh, very nice flavor. So uh, really like that there. Up the top, you got yourself a nice big Delrin drip tip. This is the same size and it has the O-ring on the inside of the RDA um, as the Kennedy and the Goon. So you can put your Kennedy drip tips in there. Uh, this one is from Mink Machine. Uh, I've got my uh, Australian Customs drip tip in there. Shout out to Mark. Um, or you can go and bung just your standard fucking Kennedy in there and go with uh, with stainless steel. There you go. So I really like how they've gone with the standard sort of, I suppose, the new 510, the, um, the Goon Kennedy Griffin size 510. All right, you got yourself the typical Mod Father Inc. engravings up the top there. Really nice and deep engravings. Very nice to see. Let's pop the top cap off. I need to chuck it onto the fucking mod. Now the O-rings are really tight when they're dry. It's got a nice pop to it once you've got the, a little bit of lube on there, a bit of fucking uh, VG or juice. Really nice pop, comes off easily. Got a nice sort of snap to it as well. So I do like the O-rings once they're juiced up. When they're not juiced up, they're fucking really, really hard to, uh, to pull off. All right, so you got your, uh, your top cap here. Pop this cunt out, there we go. So you got two big fins. Not suitable, obviously, for single coil. It's designed for a, a dual coil, but you uh, you sort of close it off, open her up. I don't know whether you cunts will be able to see that because of these sort of very tiny air holes. They don't let much light through, but yeah, it just closes off from one side to the other. Pretty simple, pretty fucking basic. All really, really well machined. Very, very nicely machined. All right, if you don't want to run that uh, top cap with the big uh, Delrin drip tip, you've got this. Have a look at that. Why does your fucking mum... Very fucking wide bore on that. Massive diameter. Let's check the measurements. You're looking at 15 millimeter bore on that fucking chuff cap. Really, really big uh, airy airflow. Very fucking nice. And you can just bung that cunt in the top like so. Um, obviously helps with heat dissipation because you've got an all Delrin drop drip tip. Um, massive, massive amounts of airflow. So that's a nice little feature. But you've also got the glass mate, as we fucking saw before. Um, little bit loose for my liking. I would have liked a little more tolerance there on the um, the glass top cap, but as you can see, lines up perfectly with your fucking coils. Um, again, huge, huge fucking bore on it. 16.9, nearly 17 millimeters in diameter on the glass. So lots and lots of fucking airflow. Only little con that I've got, it doesn't, I don't notice it at all, but if you look at the air holes, all right, so there's one, and then you flip it around, there's the other. It's slightly, slightly smaller on this hole here, but uh, not a big deal. The, the quality's pretty good, but I believe these are made in China. They're not quite as thick and, um, you know, perfectly sort of formed as, say, something from Trinity Glass. I would say that those cunts are doing much, much higher standards of glass work, but it's not bad. For an all-in-one kit, it is pretty fucking good. All right, so let's have a look at this fucking deck. As you can see, she is roomy as fucking shit being a 30 millimeter RDA. You've got a three post, four hole configuration. Now that seems a bit outdated, but the difference between this and your old, you know, three post designs is this middle post here is a neutral post. This is a series deck. So normally with your, uh, your standard RDAs, you've got uh, a two coil set up. Both of those coils, the electricity is passing through at the same time, okay? Runs from the, uh, the negative post, 
post or your positive post, um, you know, through the two coils and then into the opposing post. When you've got this neutral post here in the middle, and the reason it's neutral is you've got this extra little peak fucking insulator sitting in here, which means you've got your positive post here, runs through the coil into your neutral post, continues on through this coil, and then runs into your negative post. So it means that it's running in a circuit, which means that the resistance of each coil is doubled rather than being halved when you add a second you know coil so these are 0.28 ohm um, 3.5 millimeter aliens from uh, cloud revolution they come in as a set at 0.28 ohms individually but when i add them in series they're going to be doubled and they came in at 0.56 so pretty much you know bang on close to, to double the resistance um, of an individual coil now the reason that's fantastic is you can run this sort of um, you know build deck on a series mechanical mod um, and you don't you don't have to uh, to find you know 0.3 ohm you know dual coils you can run uh, you know a point what would normally be a 0.14 um, you know, dual coil setup, which is too low for series, once I put it in the, you know, circuit deck, it turns that 0.14 ohm build into 0.56, much more suitable for a mechanical series mod. Or in my case, you know, max it out at fucking 9.9 .9 volts at 170, uh, 75 watts. So, very, very fucking handy. Now, if you don't like the series deck, if you're not a big fan of doubling um, your normal builds, what you fucking can do is take out the center block there, you undo the 510 pin, the center block falls out, you pop in this little fucking uh, stainless steel plate here in place of your center post, and you end up with a velocity style two post deck. And then your coils are running, you know, in the normal parallel configuration, which means that your ohms become, each coil is halved, you know, when you add it in. So really fucking versatile. Love the fact that they've, uh, you know, included the actual uh, adapter in there or the, um, or the replacement plug to run it as a, a dual coil, um, you know, you know, standard sort of type RDA. Now, you have got uh, these big coils, as I mentioned earlier, from Cloud Revolution, just to give you a bit of an idea what they are. They're a 26 gauge Nichrome times 3 core with a 36 gauge N80 Alien wrap um, from Cloud Revolution. So if you want to pick up his coils, these I don't know whether they're on his site, the, the 3.5 millimeter inner diameter. They normally come as a, uh, a 3 millimeter in diameter, but these are just fucking perfect for a 30 millimeter RDA like this. So really fucking uh, great great flavor because they're really sort of taking up that that large chamber there now the juice well uh, they say on their website is uh, four sorry five millimeters let's just double check that now some sites have said that the juice well is five millimeters deep I'm only re measuring a bit under 3.5 mils which is a little bit of a, uh, a downer for me I would have liked a deeper juice well but it is fucking very very wide so you can still fit plenty of fucking juice in there don't you bloody worry but I think that about wraps it up, dickheads, in terms of the up and fucking close. I'm going to chuck some wicks back in here, and then we'll jump back up top, give you the pros, the cons, the price, and everything fucking else. So there you fucking go, dickheads. A close-up bloody squares at the Modfather RDA. And as you can see, it's an absolute fucking beast. You've got so much room there for uh, building your coils and, you know, so many options. You've got, obviously, the series configuration deck, or you can run it as the sort of standard velocity style two post. You've got glass top cap, you've got Delrin top cap, stainless steel. You've got all these different options. So they've done really well at putting, uh, you know, a bit of a fucking package together for you. But how's she fucking vape? Well, cunts, I've got the, um, the glass cap on here now. Very fucking nice. Makes it easy as shit to see your fucking coils when they need a bit of juicing. But also, really, really nice flavor. It's different sort of flavor to uh, the stainless steel cap. Maybe better, maybe just different. But um, also really handy to fucking see when you need to rejuice. I've been really liking the glass cap. Mainly for at home use, obviously a little bit worried about breaking it and that sort of thing, taking it out and about, but for uh, around the house, really, really nice flavor and, uh, you know, very, very airy with that super fucking wide bore. As you can see, the clouds are absolutely monstrous on there. Now, that's going to be dependent on your build. I think the coils that I've got in here are absolutely fucking perfect for this sort of uh, deck. Really big, beefy, huge inner diameter. And um, 
you know you can run both your series and your non-series coils depending on your uh, your deck configuration so that's a fucking massive pro and let's talk about that cunts let's talk about the pros and the cons so big pro is obviously as i mentioned all the different options you've got the delrin top cap the glass top cap top cap the stainless steel top cap the series configuration deck the uh, the standard two post velocity style so you've got heaps of different options that's definitely a massive fucking pro i really love the airflow that's a big pro for me um, both on the glass cap, but particularly on the fucking um, the standard stainless steel cap, uh, it really really smooth. One of the quietest airflows, probably the fucking quietest airflow I've had on an RDA, and I've got it about two thirds of the way open. It doesn't seem to change the the sound, um, you know, at all, depending on how wide or um, or closed you've got it off, but. Super fucking quiet and super fucking smooth as well. So I really, really like that sieve type airflow. That for me is definitely one of the biggest fucking pros. Uh, build deck, obviously, huge pro in the space you've got there. I think that's probably about it in terms of pros. It's just a fantastic fucking, uh, you know, cloud chasers idea. If you like big coils, if you like big build decks, this cunt here has that, but also really, really well designed airflow and, uh, and other options. Cons wise, dickheads, there's not really many cons uh, with this device. The only con that I found is maybe the um, the difference in tolerances between the glass cap and the stainless steel cap. Now with glass, you don't want it to be too tight because obviously it's easier to crack. But even without any juice on the O-rings, the, um, the glass top cap is just a little bit fucking loose for me. And the stainless steel drip tip, uh, stainless steel top cap, unless you've got juice on there, um, is very, very stiff. Once you've got juice on there, much, much easier, but you know, tolerances could be a little bit fucking more consistent between the two. But none of them are super loose or super tight to the point where it's a major con for me. So it's just, you gotta find a con, cunts. You gotta find a con. Could have been slightly better tolerances. But apart from that, really fucking well done. The only other little con potentially is a non adjustable 510 pin. Uh, you know, for some people that want to run this on a hybrid 26650 tube, you know, you may not have the um, the protruding pin enough um, for that sort of use. So that could be a little bit of a con. But again, this is probably more likely to be used on a um, on a regulated device or a big, you know, lipo, um, you know, sort of uh, regulated voltage device, those sorts of devices. So that's not a big con. But apart from that, dickheads, let's talk about the fucking price. Price-wise, it's not super cheap, but for what you get, I think it's damn good value. Uh, this one I bought through a group buy. Uh, here in Australia, there aren't anybody that's stocking these, so I went through the um, the group buy through um, an Aussie vape page. For those Aussies, I'll put a link to the, um, to the group that you can join and organize uh, a group buy through someone like Alex. Um, and uh, I'll put all the details there. For everybody else, in the United States, they are selling through, I found a couple of websites, only one of them had stock of it, and that was Mohawk Vapor. They had them for 80 fucking schmackos. In the UK, a little bit cheaper, about 63, 64 fucking pounds. So again, pretty reasonable. Obviously more expensive than some other RDAs out there on the market, but for what you get, you know, you get a stainless steel cap with the stainless steel top, you get the Dell Delrin top and you get the glass top, you get two different deck options, 80 bucks or 60 fucking pounds, I reckon you get a bit of a fucking deal there, cunts. The machining and the quality, all top fucking notch. So I think it's definitely a pretty reasonable price for, for what you actually get. Well, I think that about wraps it up, dickheads. So look, to sum up, Really, really good flavor um, on both the, the standard cap and the glass cap for a 20, um, for a, a 26, 650, I suppose, or a 30 millimeter RDA. Uh, once you've got big beefy coils and the flavor is really on point, it's a little bit shorter than some of the other 26 um, or 30 millimeter RDAs out there. Uh, so definitely, I think the flavor is better than, you know, something like the, the Vapors Cloud, um, you know, Buddha ZV3 or whatever it is, you know, and things like the Temple. I think the flavor is better on this. Um, clouds, fucking airflow cunts. I've been running mine mainly about two thirds of the way open, maybe even halfway open, and just. Ridiculous amounts of fucking vapor. 
So, if you're looking for a 30mm RDA, if you've got a big box mod, uh, then this cunt here would definitely be, I reckon, my pick of the fucking litter at the moment, cunts. You know, there's obviously new stuff coming out all the time, so depending on when you watch this video, but I think, you know, overall, this would have to be my favourite, you know, 30mm RDA. I like it better than the Temple, the Buddha Z V3, you know, all of those big RDAs. This cunt here is just, it's awesome. So many options, such great airflow, such great flavour, and yeah. I fucking waffled on enough. So, dickheads, I will put some links to a few websites that I have seen selling these. Also, put the links to the uh, the Facebook group that I got mine through with the group by here in Australia for you Aussie wankers. And uh, obviously, put some usual links to my Instagram, Facebook, and uh, you know whatnot. If you want to support the channel, hit the fucking like button, hit the fucking subscribe button, or pledge a buck or two through uh, Patreon. Otherwise, pick up yourself some bogan brews and other gear. All of that's in the information below. But above all, cunts, sub ohm your fucking dicks off. Sub ohm your fucking tits. Off. Doesn't matter whether you're vaping on a 30 millimeter, a 25, a 20, or a little fucking uh, you know pen vape. As long as you're not on the fucking durries, that is all that fucking matters. On the vaping bloody bogan, I'll be back very fucking soon. Cheers for tuning in and cheerio. <laughs>